It's been a few weeks, but we're back at the U-Haul store, boys, and today we've got a very exciting day. I've got $200,000 that I've decided to invest into the store, including new trucks, new trailers, and new equipment. So we got a lot of money to spend, and we're going to go straight to the equipment dealer and buy some new stuff. He said he's got some orange trucks there for us, all pulled out in the front, so we're going to drive over there and check it out. But I figure we should take the Polaris Razor on the streets and drive it over there look at this thing it's street legal so technically we can drive it but we got this thing all built up massive tires quad snorkels light bar everything so this is going to be our fun vehicle but here's the equipment dealer it's right down the street so not far but he's got these two trucks pulled out for us and this is an upgrade from our last moving trucks we had f750s attached to a box truck the last bigger trucks that we had and now we've got these freightliner and western star box trucks and these are a lot higher end of a trucks so they've got a longer frame in the box and then this one also has an air conditioning unit or a freezer so you can freeze the trailer if you want to let's open up the back we've got it running too you've got a side door for loading and unloading of any food supplies which is kind of cool because now food transport companies can use our trucks for rentals short-term rentals any restaurants anything that has to do with food they can transport with our truck so it kind of expands our business by another 15 to 20 percent which will bring us more money so these are pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and drive it we're gonna take a little test drive in this thing there we go turn the lights we got a lot of cool lights around the back and the side too running lights you gotta have those on this truck since it's classified as an oversized vehicle it's pretty wide in the lane you can see it takes up almost the entire lane first thing we got to do though is fill this truck up with some diesel because they did not fill it up when you buy new vehicles usually they do but this truck we got it at a deal so we're gonna fill it up with diesel and then we're gonna be renting this thing out today so hopefully we get a customer but Let's fill up this tank, and then, well, this should reach. It's a pretty long one. Oh, oh, no. I'm just short. Oh, we almost be able to fill up both tanks at once. Eh, whatever. All right, I'm going to fill this one up, and then we're going to take it on back to the shop. And we also had two new trailers. I didn't look at those yet, but we'll show you those when we get back to the equipment dealer. All right, boys, we're on the move again. Back to the shop. It was a pretty cool fill up. It wasn't too costly. It was like $85. I thought it was going to be hurting our bank account, but it was not. So that's actually not bad for a double tank. Freightliner. So very cool. We're going to get this back to the shop. List it online for rent. I think we're going to rent for $95 per hour. And the reason this one's $95 is because it's got that air conditioning unit. So whenever we have a problem with it, like it breaks, it's going to cost a lot of money to purchase a new one or repair it because those things are not cheap. It's an insulated box truck. But we're going to back this one in the spot so we don't have enough space here to put this on the lift. Uh, the lift is not classified to hold that big of a vehicle. But, well, maybe. It would probably be pretty tight. Well, let's, let's see. We're going to unload the F-450. We got to use this to tow the trailers on back anyhow. So we'll park it there. I want to see if this thing fits on the lift. I would be surprised if it does. Yeah, there's not a chance, but the back wheels are kind of closer. So it's not like the whole frame of the truck is the entire length of it. So it's probably, it could work. All right, I think we might look good on the width. So let's back this thing in. Oh, we're good on the width. Okay, that's perfect. No way. It actually fits. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, all right, let's go ahead and raise it up, see what it looks like in the air. There we go, we're raising it up. Oh, that looks sweet. So we can put it on the top layer of the truck vending machine, but obviously you can't put it in this one because of the ceiling height and obviously the length. You can't go underground with the truck, but up top, we can do that. It can handle the weight capacity, no issue. There it is all the way up in the air now on the third level. That looks sweet. It's still running too. Oh my gosh, I forgot to turn it off. And we'll let it light up a little bit. We got diesel to burn, but we're in the F-450 now. We're going to go head over and grab one of the trailers. Okay, they're dual axles, so that's nice. So that'd be a little bit heavier duty for any weight. And it is actually got these wood blocks on it because it is rolling on its own if it's got nothing to block it. But it, it's a pretty cool trailer. It's a good size. A little bit smaller than the ones that we're currently renting out because we don't rent those out as much as you guys think. So that's why we decided to get some cheaper ones. These one will be about $20 an hour, which for nowadays, that's a steal for renting a dual axle trailer. If people need to, you know, move maybe TV and some boxes, they can do that if they just want to move themselves. So it keeps it simple. We grab that one and let's just race on back right across the street. No issues. Here we go. Let's get the wood block out of the way. Perfect. It's a rental. Don't worry. All right. There we go. Hook up to it. Perfect. And we're ready to roll out. So yeah, that's so far what we've got. The other Freightliner is the exact same without the air conditioning unit. All right, boys, we're bringing the last thing that we've got left at the equipment dealer, the Razor. But this place is filling up, too. Look at this. We've got the truck backed in over there against the building because we got no parking spots left. We're going to put the Razor in the garage, and we are actually done for work today. And now we're going to move on to something fun. I just bought a new car. As you know, we've got the Mustang as our daily driver, daily sports car, and overall... 
our only sports car. And that's when I realized we have a problem and we need to buy another one. So we purchased a Porsche 992 911 GT3. And we're going to be racing it around a track today to have some fun and end it off. You know, we uh, we didn't do too much work today, but sometimes you got to take break days. And that's one of those days. So we're going to be heading over to the dealership M3, as you know. And we're going to be purchasing a Porsche GT3. Here we are, baby. They've got G-Wagons out front. The Porsche should be around the side. There it is, boys. Look at that thing. We got it all blacked out. We didn't do U-Haul orange because, you know, orange is kind of an ugly color. You can't have it on everything. It's just, you know, you got to have it for business. And this is not for business. This thing stands on business. But uh, yeah, this can be our new personal daily driver. Look at this thing. All blacked out rims. We've got the orange brake calibers. So we do have a little bit of orange in there, you know, to represent U-Haul. But uh, we got the dual titanium straight piped exhaust. We got the extended wing, extended carbon fiber package, racing bucket seats, suede seats right there too. This thing looks insane. So let's go ahead and fire it up. We got the keys right here. Perfect. And it's running. Look at this. All right. Very cool. So we got the digital display right there for your mile per hour. Oh, I think this is the mechanic. Just taking it for a test drive, but I think we're going to end up buying it. So here we go. Let's turn on the lights. So there's the lights. The lights on the back look sweet too. The indicators, the brake lights. Look at that. It's the whole bar on the back. So definitely a nice driving car too. This thing is quick and it sounds good. All right. Let's not total it. Check out the turning. Here we go. Oh, that was actually not the best. We need to learn the car. That's one thing before we go on to the track. So here we go. Let's take a right we don't want to total at the track so we're going to learn some street turning here all right take a left break 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 look at that that was smooth if only we ended up in the right lane it would have been better all right here we go turn approach perfect oh we nailed it we nailed it that was actually pretty good that was better here we go take a left there we go we got it this time we stayed in the lane see now when we turn good turn all right very cool guys well we're gonna head on over to the racetrack we rented out the entire thing to ourselves today so i'll meet you guys at the racetrack we're gonna buy this thing real quick and uh we'll see you there all right, boys, we made it to the private track in Mexico. So we've got this entire place to ourselves. So we're going to go ahead and line up at the start line, obviously, so that we can do it legitimately. Look at all the fans turning up for the GT3. No, I'm just kidding. They're here for another event. But here we go. Let's stop on the pedal. Let's get this thing moving, baby. Wow, we're moving right now. All right, it's downshift. There we go. Boom, boom. This is the best sounding car. Here we go. Take a left. This is a track vehicle, too. Oh my gosh, you see how we gain speed as soon as we straighten out the wheel? There we go, take a left. Oh my gosh, we're still hanging on to it. This car is the best track car. Well, the RS is probably next step up from this, but this is the first step in a Porsche that'll get you on the track and do some great turning. So here we go, let's take a left right here. Stay on it, there we go, there we go. This is sweet, and there's a lot of fans around here kind of watching, so that's pretty cool too. We got a tight turn here, let's hit the brakes. Ooh, we kind of drifted it. You don't want to do that. I think we need to learn to brake faster, and then that way we'll uh, do some better turns here. But all right, there we go. Crank it. Oh my gosh, I love when we straighten this thing out, and then it just goes insanely fast. Here's an interior view. You kind of sit a little bit lower in this car, so it's got the bucket seats. So you feel locked in when you're driving. You don't feel like you're going to fly out. So you got the racing seatbelt. There we go. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, okay. We spun out. Yeah, that wasn't good. We burned some rubber up on that one, but uh, it's okay. The track car is able to handle it. So, all right, here we go. Let's try and hit 100 miles an hour and then hit a turn. I don't think that's going to be possible, but I want to hit a turn successfully with 100 mile power speed. That'd be pretty sweet. If you guys like us coming out to the racetrack and you want to see more episodes, maybe another Rich Guys Racing episode, make sure you hit the like button down below and also subscribe if you haven't yet. Here we go. We're spinning up speed. 140. Oh my gosh, we are flying. All right, here we go. We got a turn coming up. All right, maybe break a little bit. 100 mile an hour. Okay, that was a 100 mile per hour turn. We're still hanging on to it. 96, 98. There we go. 100. All right, boys. Pretty good at racing. I think we could uh, maybe bet some money and win. There we go. Straight away, straight away, boys. This is where we get our max speed. So let's go back into first person view. Let's see what we can get. We're doing 130. Still got another quarter mile. All right, 150. Come on, we get 180 before we hit that turn up there. All right, 180. Here we go. We're 190. Come on, 200, 200, 200, 200. Break, 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 break. Oh, we hit 200. I think we no, oh, it was, I think it's like 199. Oh, that was so close. I didn't see 200 on the dash, but we'll try on the next go around. So I'll meet you guys at the next straightaway. All right, we're back at that same straightaway. We went around the racetrack and now we're going to go ahead and try and hit 200 miles per hour. We attempted it last time, but now we gained more speed. There we go. Kick it into the third gear. Okay, downshift. There we go. Perfect. Fourth gear. Fifth gear, boys. Here we go. We got the turn. All right, after the turn, we're doing 90 miles an hour. This is the straightest point on the entire racetrack. All right, 120. That's good. That was faster than last lap. 
There we go. 140. Oh, we're going to hit it. We're going to hit it. 160. Come on. Only 40 miles an hour more. 30 mile per hour more. 20. 200. Oh my gosh. And all right. I think that's where we ended. The Porsche did pretty good as a track vehicle. And I'm excited to bring it into our car. Felit at the U-Haul store technically. But also we're going to keep this in our garage at home. So if you guys like this car, let me know down below in the comments. This is my dream vehicle. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.